In order to feed animals like rabbits, cows or sheep during the winter, when you cannot find too much forage, or in the case of caged rabbits throughout the year if you like, you need to make hay. Lucky for you, hay is simply grasses and some other vegetation mowed down and left to dry for a couple of days in the sun. Unlike what most people think, you need no machinery to make hay. You can do it the old-fashioned way with only a very inexpensive hand tool. The tool you need is the scythe. For the record, this was the first time in my life that I used the scythe and I managed to make a huge amount of hay. This is a testament to how easy it is and I must add, it was a lot of fun. This is a really fun tool to use. I learned a few things during this experience. One thing I figured out is that there are two motions you can do and which are needed depending on the spot you need to mow. One is a broad swiping motion and the other is a pulling cutting motion. The problem with collecting grass as opposed to cutting down wheat in a flat field is that the ground may not be even and you might need to get in between trees, rocks and other objects, so you need to adapt. Here you can see me sharpening the scythe. This method worked fine for me, but the sharpening method recommended for most people is a method of short strokes drawn towards you so you don't cut yourself. With the method I did it, if you don't pay attention and control the blade and the stone perfectly, you can get cut very nastily, while with short strokes towards your body you are a lot safer. After you have cut your hay, you need to spread it on a surface to dry. If you store it immediately, it might get moldy and wasted. Here I am turning it so it can dry from the other side. It doesn't need to be entirely yellow to be dry, a little green is perfect. But it has to be dry before you store it. Another thing I learned during this experience is that it is entirely possible to have unlimited amounts of meat for free via keeping some rabbits. With the hay I made with a few hours work within half a week, I can easily feed three rabbit mothers and their progeny, which equals about 90 rabbits to eat per year. Just this hay and water is required for all that meat and on top of that you also get a large quantity of manure to fertilize your garden. So give it a try! In one of my future videos I will show you mm. how to set up the ideal rabbit and chicken house combined so you can do it on your own. Thanks for watching!